not Texas. It's not Texas A&M. It's not even Texas Tech. So far this season, it's the Baylor Bears. In 2003, the Bears were rocked by tragedy and scandal. Out went head coach Dave Bliss. In enters Scott Drew. After just one year at Valpo, Drew came to Baylor and inherited a team that suffered a great loss off the court, an exodus of talent to other Division I competition, probation from the NCAA that kept them from competing in postseason play, plus recruiting restrictions that were finally lightened in 2007. And after one month in 2008, they have eclipsed their win totals from any year under Drew and even Bliss's final year. The Bears did a great job last year just to finish one game under 500 and eligible for the NIT. This year, they stand at 16-3 and, and look like an almost lock for the NCAA tournament. Baylor is just a half game out of the Big 12 lead. But another win to keep pace will be a tall order for Baylor. Texas owns this series, especially recently, 20 in a row for the Longhorns as Baylor hasn't beaten Texas since 1998, the same year Scott's brother Bryce hit that game-winning shot against Mississippi for Valpo. Now both teams are coming off disappointing losses. Baylor fell to Oklahoma and Texas was blown out by a and Wednesday night. Texas reached the top 10 this week in the rankings and doesn't want to go 0-2 this week, so they'll need to shake off the loss pretty quickly and compete against a much-improved Baylor Bears squad. For all the latest on all of your favorite college hoops, keep it right here at CBSSports.com. I'm Amber.